Okay, here's another one of my I haven't got a clue what I'm doing videos. Um, I have got a kind of clue what I'm doing. So the thing is, I'm going to need to cut quite a few sheets of plywood. And I'm going to need to cut the whole length of them. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to use a circular saw. I've been looking at getting a circular saw with a track on so that I can then cut very, very accurate, accurately. And I thought, actually, no, fuck it. Not fuck it, because I'm not swearing in this video. Uh, what I actually thought was, if I get a couple of bits, so I've got a couple of bits of 10 mil, sorry, 18 mil, 10 inch wide, and a couple of bits of 18 mil, three inch wide. If I glue these in a very straight line, glue and screw them in a very straight line, to make two frames, I can chop one down. I'll, I'll be able to have, I don't know what it's called, I think it's called a zero clearance track. And then basically I'll just run this down. This here will bang up against that edge. And this blade here will, will cut itself somewhere along there. So it'll be a zero. So wherever I lay this up against the line, it's where the saw blade will go and the reason I've left a bit of space over here is to clamp it because what I didn't want is if I put a clamp on here and it kind of like sticks up then it's going to bash on this Does that make sense I don't know if that makes sense but if I put one of these clamps here like this you see the other way around on there it won't get in the way of that does any of that make any sense? I don't know. Anyway, so at the moment I'm going to drill some holes. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, that's those holes drilled. And countersunk. There wasn't actually any need to countersink those. Uh, it's purely aesthetics. Okay, so that one's now attached and glued and screwed uh, screws are mainly along this side because I ain't really bothered about that side that's not as crucial but this is the side that needs to be exactly straight and square because that's what we'll be using for the guide right do the other one okay glued screwed and the count sink holes filled for well, the first little bit of filling Needs a little bit more in some of these. But, almost finished article. So we've got one, two. And I know someone's going to say, what did you make two for? I actually made three. Because that will be for cutting eight foot sheets. And knock this one down to five foot. So I can use this for cutting across eight by four sheets, four foot wide. And then this one will be three foot long. I'll use that for cutting across two foot wide sheets. Quite pleased with those. Only bits of wood stuck together. And the first cut of varnish. That didn't come up too bad. The varnish really is not cosmetic. The varnish is, is mainly to protect and also to provide a runner for the base of the circular saw. Uh, when I say runner, it, it glides easier on varnished surface. I tried it, I tested it on uh, on here and on a slightly sanded varnished and then on just on the normal boards and, um, and it glides better on here. Plus another little trick you can use on the base of the circular saw is just to rub some candle wax on it. So there we are, that now, I, I probably will find I will do nothing more on here today. Uh, I'll give that varnish 24 hours to dry, then give it another coat. And then I'll flip it over and underneath, I'll also give it a coat of varnish. And I'm gonna use some non-slip um, little beads uh, that go in there. Um, I'll show you that tomorrow. It's what we use on, on steps and things. 
so yeah quite pleased this is tooling up for the big fit out Ooh. okay skipped a couple of days um because it was boring just varnishing and stuff put a little bit of varnish on the underneath uh, and then rubbed it down haven't put any non-slip on yet there's a couple that are finished and i've written the name of the um the particular circular saw that i'm using with these uh guides or rails or whatever i don't know what they're called um if indeed they have a name and so right uh so the idea is these are made tailored exactly to the circular saw in question um, and the blade will put a cut here exactly well you know not exactly it'll put a, put a cut where it puts a cut and then that is exactly where you line that edge up with the panel that you want to later cut up i don't know if that makes sense does to me so what i'm going to do i'm going to start finishing this one off and i'll stop it halfway along so you sort of know what i mean okay so really don't know so what i'm doing is i'm running the saw down this edge here is up against this guide so this cut will always be exactly the distance between this guide here and the blade and to, to do this uh, I've used uh, a new blade a brand new blade made in Sheffield by the way saw blade it's a 40 tooth blade um, so I'll finish this off and then I'll show you pretty much how and why it works sort of so Essentially, what this is now is done. <laughs> if you have a look, you see that now. Oh, you're going to autofocus and whatever. So that will always cut exactly on this line. So I just line that up against the mark on whatever I'm cutting and uh, it saves all that guesswork of well is that you know four and a half inches or whatever um, and I put a, a square on here and it was absolutely spot on which is a good idea to always check your saw blade first uh, yeah now this is never going to be as perfect as you know those things have up against the wall in in um, timber merchants and places like B&Q uh, that are run on rails and things. Uh, but then, you know, they're a couple of grand a time. This whole thing's cost me 15 quid. <laughs> I think probably a little bit, maybe if you count the varnish, maybe I don't know, £15.75. So I'm happy with that. That'll do me. Um, so I've got three. I've got the eight foot one for doing full length sheets. I've got a five foot one for doing, cutting across a four, uh, an eight by four sheet. And then a the little baby, which is all right, just for doing two foot rips. So if I was, as an example, if I needed to chop some stuff off that over there, I would just lay that across where I wanted to chop, make a mark there, a mark there, lay that across, boof, run the saw down, right done there you go so i've got to tidy all this up today because i need to make some what am i doing i'm doing oh, i'm making window frames uh that'll be probably another video and i apologize in advance for the swearing during that one but there you go completed i don't know what they're called saw rail saw guides whatever they're called uh there you go we have made one and um, just uh, for the health and safety people yes it is unplugged uh, right that's it good show <laughs>